Simon Kid subscribers. My name is Josh Funk, and I am going to read to you my book, My Pet Feet, and it's illustrated by Billy Young. I bet you're wondering what pet feet are. Don't worry, you're about to find out. Here are the end papers. And here is the title page. You can see a little girl is waking up in the morning. Today, I woke up and was about to feed my pet when, a little pet here in the cage in the corner. What do you think that pet is? What happened to my pet feet? I mean, my pet feet. Why can't I say feet? Doodles, I asked. Is that you? What was happening? I scanned high and low, and then I saw it. The alphabet on my wall was incomplete. Can you see what's missing? It's the letter R. The letter, I mean the symbol between Q and S, it's gone. I looked at Doodles. Ah, I see. Without the, can you see what he used to be? If you had some R's, it would be a ferret. He's become feet. I didn't know how to fix this, but I had to do something to save him. Maybe my buddy Lucas could help. Look, there's Lucas. Drinking a boba tea. I walked outside to complete Chaos. Look at that. Chaos. I quickly sidestepped a bunch of kids on go-cats and almost bumped into a policewoman on the back of a galloping hose. You gotta pay attention to the pictures in this because there's a lot of silly things going on. Inside the family bake shop, Lucas's mom took a bead pan out of the oven Lucas, I said, what's going on? Lucas just scowled at me. Most days he's my pal, but today he was a fiend. I hugged Doodles as I backed outside. And I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a bunch of words in purple here, like bead and fiend. And they're all in purple because they are missing R's. It should be a bread pan that comes out of the oven and a friend, not a fiend, and go-karts instead of go-cats, and a galloping horse, not a galloping hose. But the R's are all missing, which is why we have pet feet, and we need to save him. All the townspeople acted as if this was just a typical day. You might have to pause to see all of the amazing things that Billy illustrated here for all the things that are going on. But I'll let you do that. Like there's band posters on this music shop that are for Age Against the Machine and Paul McCatney and Hay Styles and Men at Walk. There's a, there's a bake shop across the street from this bake shop. But this bake shop, they really should be a break shop because they also fix ties instead of tires. See all the tires? They're ties. And there's so much more. How did they not notice the pandemonium? Out of the blue, a flock of cows began chasing us. We fled to the town hall, but couldn't get in the do. Because I, you know, if you put an R at the end of the word do, it becomes door. Ooh, look at this page. With the cows still behind me, I climbed a massive cane that loomed above the building. As I suspected, cows don't like heights. See, it's a, it's a candy cane colored crane because, because a cane with an R becomes a crane. High above the town, Doodles clung to me with all ten toes. To save him, I needed to know what happened to the 18th symbol of the alphabet. Did it fade out of existence? Doubtful. Did it get used up? Not likely. 
Vowels get used most. I could still say A-E-I-O-U, and sometimes Y. Maybe someone took it, and why? But who and why? I was stumped. I don't want to have pet feet until the end of time, I wailed. Doodles gave me the saddest pout imaginable. Doodles, I didn't mean it. I'm so... But as I spoke, Doodles did what feet do best. He jumped up, dashed down the cane, and bolted away. Come back, I shouted. I chased Doodles past a fog and toad. By the old babbling book, down a tail and into a gassy field. See the gassy field? It's a... Uh, it's a bunch of butts farting. I didn't know that that's what it was going to be when I wrote it. Um, Billy illustrated it that way, but I totally approve. Just like the missing piece of the alphabet, doodles had vanished. This whole situation was a massive catastrophe, a huge disaster, a bad thing, but I couldn't give up. Maybe you've noticed, but there are no R's in this entire book. Even the words that are missing R's, there, even the words that, that, that aren't missing R's don't have R's. I followed the faint sound of footsteps and finally found doodles at the sea shoe. I avoided tiny calves scuttling along the sand and eventually caught up to him at the edge of the pie. So you should have been scuttling crabs and the seashore and the pier, but it's a pie. Pi 3.14. Doodles, please accept my apology. You could be an animal, you could be feet, but you will always be a fantastic companion. Doodles hopped up. Aw, I love you too. All of a sudden, he dove into the ocean. And that's when I saw it. We paddled out. It helped having two additional feet kicking. Who do you think it's gonna be? Did you say pirates? Arr, said one of the scallywags. Arr, said another. Arr, I roared at them. I roared? Yes, it was a roar with a capital R. The pirate captain handed me a treasure chest. Take them, he growled. We wanted to be the only ones in the world who could utter the letter R, but now it's all me mateys say. The trunk overflowed with a plethora of pilfered R's. And I don't know if you noticed, but there are all these words in green. These green words are words that do have R's in them. And now that we got the R's back, I reached in and delivered two to Doodles. Immediately, he transformed. Went from feet back to ferret. Hooray! What a day. The R fiasco was resolved and the town was now repaired. See, everything's back to normal from that page before. And there's Lucas poking out of the window. There's a bunch of dogs barking. They were baking before. The taco shop special is pawn rice and uh, prawn rice and beans, but it was pawn ice and beans tacos. Doodles lay resting directly over my heart. My pet ferret was right where he belonged. Ready to retire, I could finally relax and catch some, oh no. How did I miss it before? Where are all the? And the whole book written without any Z's. There were no Z's at all. Because, because who do you think stole them? Yeah, that's right. The bees, the bees stole them. And this book, by the way, was dedicated for my pets, Dobby, Hiro Nakamura, Lincoln Hawk, and Catnip Everdeen. None of whom, to my knowledge, are or have ever been feet. And uh, it's possible some of them might have been sneaking behind me while I was recording this, but, um, I don't know because I was paying attention to this delicious book. Um,
Thank you so much for reading with me today. For more videos like this, subscribe to the Simon Kids YouTube channel and check back often. And have an awesome day. Thank you so much.